What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to use the Ripple Overwrite tool in DaVinci Resolve 16. On the edit panel of your DaVinci Resolve interface, go to File, Import File and Import Media to select the video files that you wish to use in your project. In my media pool, you can see that I have inserted two video files into this project. The first one is called Example Video and the buildings. Both are MP4 formatted files. To check the duration of a particular video clip, simply drag your mouse cursor over the relevant video thumbnail and left click on the icon in the bottom right corner inside the red outline comprising of a rectangle with three dots inside lined horizontally. Left click once and the number on the right alongside the clock image represents the duration of this clip. So in this particular example, this video clip lasts for 16 seconds and 18 frames. We can see under the video frame rate that each second in this clip is comprised of 27 frames. I will now check the duration of the second video clip in my media pool. And this video clip is roughly a second shorter, lasting just over 15 seconds. I'm going to left click on the thumbnail for example video inside my media pool, hold my mouse button down and drag this to the edit timeline. I will let go of the left mouse button once the video is in place at the start of the timeline at the zero second mark. Using the selection mode tool, which you can also select by pressing A on your keyboard, I'm going to left click on the red indicator, hold my mouse button down and drag this to the right to the end of the clip to confirm the duration, which is just over 16 seconds. Go to left click on the cut icon at the bottom of your screen. Left click once. On your cut window, ensure that your red indicator is positioned anywhere on the edit that you wish to apply a ripple overwrite transaction to, apart from the end. Otherwise, the ripple overwrite setting will instead be applied to the subsequent edit later on on your timeline, F1 existed. You can do this by left clicking, holding the mouse button down and dragging the red indicator to the left to an earlier phase on the video clip. Now that my red indicator is over this particular edit, I'm going to go to master underneath media pool and left click once on the thumbnail for the buildings video. With this selected, I'm going to go to the ripple overwrite button below. Left click once. And as you can see on the preview here, inside the cut window, the video clip of Bobby the dog has disappeared and is replaced with imagery of buildings. If I go back to my edit timeline, and as we can tell also by the duration, the buildings video has replaced the edit of Bobby on the timeline. The whole video project now lasting just over 15 seconds. What the ripple overwrite tool has done is that it has replaced an entire video edit with a different one. What if you wanted to use the ripple overwrite tool on a project which contains multiple edits? such as this project here, where this video of Bobby has been cut into two pieces. In order to make a cut, first of all, simply drag your red indicator to the point in your video. I am roughly halfway through the video edit here, and I'm gonna select the blade edit mode tool by left clicking once, and left clicking on the red line where my red indicator is positioned. Left click once, to make a trim on your edit. Now I have two edits in place on my video project. Choose the selection mode tool once more. My aim is to replace the second edit on my timeline by using the ripple overwrite tool to replace the video of Bobby with the video of the buildings. If I right click on this second edit, and choose change clip duration, which you can also select using control and D, we can identify the duration of this edit with the new window which appears. In this case here, the second edit on the timeline lasts for just over eight seconds. Click cancel, return to the cut window, 
bear in mind that the red indicator is currently positioned at the point where the blade edit mode tool was used. So therefore in this case the first edit will be ignored and the second edit which is the final 8 seconds of the video with Bobby is currently selected. If I left click on buildings and left click once on the ripple overwrite button you can see that the second edit on the timeline has expanded. This is due to the fact that the buildings video has replaced the second edit of Bobby on the timeline. And if I go back to my edit window to preview, using my red indicator by dragging it to the left to the beginning of my video project, you can see that the first video edit of Bobby remains on the timeline. But if I drag the red indicator further along the timeline to the second edit, you can see that the whole buildings clip from my media pool has replaced the last eight seconds of the video with Bobby. And this has increased the duration obviously of the entire video project and now the entire video project lasts for 23 seconds. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.